another build video. This build is so much fun. I've been using it in both PVE and PVP. It's a fantastic PVP support build. It's great for crowd control and deterring multi-grouping scumbags. It's not a meta build. Yeah, it's a little cheesy, but then again, what build isn't cheesy this patch? It's heaps of fun to use and pretty simple to get the gear to make it. Now, by all means, RNG is a bitch, and if you've got better suited gear or better rolled gear, use it. Use this as a template or a guide for this non-meta build. Before we check out the build, show the channel some love and support, smash the like button on this video, share with your mates, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. So this is my title update 6.1-3117 build but it's completely different to what you think a 3.11.7 might be. I've got 423k armor, 27k health, and nearly 3k seeker skill, and I'm over the cap of the hive skill power. So we'll just say we're 3k skill power. I'm using the technician specialization, and I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. The main gun is the Pestilence. It's hitting for 21.3k, but remember, this is more of a support build. We're using it mainly for the healing debuffs when you're landing shots on players, and the Plague of the Outcast to get that <laughs> fart cloud when an infected player dies. The secondary is a FAMAS and it's hitting for 14.4k with measured Allegro and protected reload. It's a handy little gun to have too, to quickly swap to if you need to finish someone off. And the holstered talent on my sidearm is cannon, so I can throw those skills a little further. Now the mask is a china light, with 54 hazard protection, 292 skill power and creeping death. Status effects spread to the nearest enemy within 25 meters. 
This is great for players that like to stack up on corners or in corridors. And it's even better when the gloves are infused. I don't have destructive on this build, but if you wanted more explosive damage, this is probably a talent that you could swap out for it. The chest is Gilligard with 12% total armor, 13% weapon damage, and 19k armor along with Bloodsucker. It's modded with skill power and explosive damage, and the defensive mods are armor and total armor. The holster is an Alps with 720 skill power and insulated. Skill power and explosive damage mods, and some LNG damage. The backpack is Providence Defense. I've got 5% weapon damage, 20.5 total armor, and 15k armor. It's also got hardened and efficient. It's modded with skill power and seeker mind skill power. For the support builds I make, with low offensive stats, I prefer to run efficient, especially in PvP. But we have 7 yellows, so if you wanted to, you could definitely run on the ropes here. To the gloves, they are the BTSU gloves. Now the skill damage buff when the gloves are infused is only 5% in PvP. But we've got 7 yellows, and that adds up to 35%, which is more than enough extra skill damage on this build. It's modded with skill power and explosive damage, armor and total armor. And the knee pads are Gilligard, with 11% total armor and capacitive. Modded with armor and total armor. So, let's do some quick math. 54% has it on the mask, 30% from insulated, 20 from the two-piece bonus of Gilligard, bang, 104% hazard protection. Now, you can definitely swap up the skills and run which ones you suit, but I do find that the Seeker Mine and the Hive are the best to run here. We've got a 16 second cooldown on the Explosive Seeker Mine. The base PvP damage is 212k, it's got two damage mods and one skill haste mod. And the Stinger Hive, we've got 16 charges and it does 11k PvP damage. But we're running this more to apply the bleed. The bleed infuses the gloves, which buffs the Seeker Mine. It's got a Hive skill power mod, which isn't needed, but I don't have another one to fill the slot at the moment. A radius and a charges mod. Now, if we head into the specialization tree for the technician, this is why we're running it. Number one perk, 50% skill power. Number two perk, 10% skill damage. And the number three perk, when a skill dies, you recover 20% armor. Like I said, this build is a lot of fun and very effective in team play. Use this as a guide or a template, tweak it a little bit to suit your play style. Give it a go, step away from meta builds, think outside the box, and see where you end up. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, like, share, comment below, and subscribe. Plum out.